Throughout that song, I'm mainly the biggest, one of the biggest focus is try to, or just keep the melody and the form going through your head. Um, so when you're swinging and improv and you, um, you got something you're kind of basing it off of. And then at the same time, when he's soloing though, I'm also trying to give him, the soloist, what he needs to emphasize his solo. On the first measure, I'm just playing a common tone quarter notes and then going into the second measure I'm still playing the common tone and it's called a common tone because the notes in B flat 7 and in E flat 9 have an F in common and then when I'm going from the B flat 7 on the fourth measure to the fifth measure of E flat 7 I'm using a common jazz lick.
much fun. That, was, that actually sounded pretty good. Though, for like, like lots, some kids would really respond to that. You know? yeah. They'd be like, "What's that jazz stuff?" And the second we did that, they'd be like, "Sign me up! Sign me up now!" Let's play it again. Because B flat seven, what are you doing back no, there? No, I was changing my sticks. Because B flat seven and E flat seven, it's called a common tone. It's called a common common tone because the notes in B flat seven and in E flat nine have an F in common. Seven. I'm using a common jazz lick. Check out my jazz licks of the day. <laughs> and you can. I'm sorry. And you can. <laughs> 